Well, hi, and a warm welcome to this Excel spreadsheet. This is a simple, quite simply a risk register designed around security, but it can work for anything at all. It's completely filled in. It's been worked more or less as an enterprise risk assessment. Looks at all the various uh, risk statements there, which you can pick up from. Essentially, there's a lot of drop down menus in here, which change the area. You choose some of this by text. You type in the potential consequence. There's some guidance around each of these. As you can see, it pops up to talk about what the uh, relevant material is there, just to give you an idea of how to use it. It also looks at uh, some of these drop-down menus. By changing these, for example, that uh, automatically updates the uh, the risk, uh, the risk rating. That is, so it gives you a bit of a risk priority, which is based on a maths around the highest uh, extrema, obviously priority one, and so. You can pick and choose and adapt this. It also feeds into a risk treatment plan. So we look at these uh, risks from a treatment perspective, and then we have the risk treatment number, treatment recommendations, the main risk that's treated. Obviously, they usually treat more than one risk, but which is the risk that this is focused on. Uh, some categories of risk, and again, a uh, calculation to say, what's the priority from the risk register? How much will it cost us we can put in there? and it produces your risk register based around that. There's a risk matrix in here, fully editable. Uh, again, you can choose to operate this however you see fit and just modify it to suit. There's some material around there, guidance for the adequacy of existing controls. So when it looks at where, what's the risk, low, medium, high, severe, what's the adequacy of the controls around that, are they mostly adequate? So uh, are they not? So you can work that through as a bit of a matrix. Uh, so with some barriers, these are just some checklist ideas that you could use when you're thinking about what sort of things would you expect to see that you could use as a control. Risk calculator here, normally this would be hidden, but we've left it open. So this is really around the maths of some of those drop down menus you saw. So they use these lookup tables. Uh, again, you know, basically when you're looking at something which is possible versus very likely, it changes the risk based on those tables. It also has a rather complicated but sometimes useful uh, reporting dashboard here. So you can look at some of these. You can pick to choose. You can change all these risk families, of course. You can edit them and you can see what happens. What are our financial risks? Where they, are they at? Uh, how many of them are they? Uh, then you can just simply look at them and say, okay, high, medium, low. You can clear those filters. You can also then go look and you say, well, what's that current risk rating? How many of them are high? What does that look like if we just want to look at the high risks and the inherent probability down to the um, various risks? So it gives you a lot of ways to slice and dice this. Um, quite honestly, I'm not sure how useful this will be to you, but it is just a little bit of a value-add feature. The real heart of it is in these treatment plan and risk register 